Hey everybody, hope you're having a great, great day. What a beautiful, beautiful day we're having because it's the day of the Lord. And I'm so excited that I have this moment of time with you to encourage you and strengthen you in your walk with God. We've been talking about walking and living successfully, that God has secured your success. Now we've been reading out of the book of Joshua chapter one, and I wanna read a couple of those verses again. It says, be strong, this is verse seven. He said, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do all which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from the left or to the right hand that you may prosper whithersoever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then, listen to what he said, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Remember, I just want to remind you, we're not just talking about making more money, even though this may be involved in it, that you will have more than you ever dreamed of, because I believe that's what God wants for you. I believe it's talking about overcoming in the day of adversity. I believe it's about getting and receiving every promise that God has given to you. I believe it's about rising above all the fear and all the chaos and living victorious when everybody else isn't. That's God's plan for your life. And I believe within these couple of verses, I believe, or even in this whole chapter, I believe there's a strategy that God wants us to follow. Let me give this one to you. I believe this is, a, I really believe it's a principle. Who are you following? Remember, this wasn't just about Joshua. This was about the whole nation of Israel. Matter of fact, in verse 6, he says, Be strong and of good courage. For this people, for to this people, you shall divide as an inheritance at the land. See, the inheritance already belonged to Israel. But somebody was going to have to help them get there. Here's the principle. Who are you following? I believe it's important, and not, not just following any one, but that you have leadership over your life, that you are under leadership. The Bible tells us in the book of Jeremiah chapter 23, I'm going to turn there real quickly because it's a powerful verse of scripture. God says, woe to the shepherds that scatter my people. But God says the day is coming that he's going to bring his people back to their folds. Listen to this. He said, but I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I've driven them, bring them back to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. Listen to this verse, verse 4 of Jeremiah 23. He said, I will set up shepherds over you, over them who will feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Now listen, the word dismayed means to be broken down by fear and violence. They will be dismayed no more, neither shall they lack, says the Lord. Why? Because God said, I'm going to set up shepherds over my people that are going to feed them. The Psalm 23 says, uh, he says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pastures. Listen, friend, I believe that it's so, so important that you have good leadership over your life. Now, I'm talking to a lot of, I know, Christ Church folks, but I also believe I'm talking to a world of many people I don't know, and many of you are sharing this, and I want to say to those that are walking, listen, if you're going to get God's blessings, you got to do it God's way. We got ideas and we got opinions. I've even heard people say, but you know what? I'm just in love with the Lord. Well, I believe you can be in love with the Lord and be out of the will of God because God's way is that you have leadership. A New Testament principle would be Ephesians 4. He gave the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastor, and teacher for the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry until we come to the fullness of the body of Christ. We all need godly leadership over our lives. But I believe you need godly leadership that is following the will and the plan of God and that is teaching you the word of God. So I want you to know you need to be under leadership because God has planned success for you.